Your investments are doing well until one day they suddenly drop 18% in value. Number one, what rate of return would you need to earn the next year to make up for the loss? And number two, what rate of return would you need to make up for the loss and earn 8% over the next year? We can answer these questions quickly using the formulas shown on the right, which we will do, but then I'll we'll also derive the formulas at the end of the video to show where they come from. So again, for number one, what rate of return would you need to earn the next year to make up for the loss? The rate to restore a loss or break even over the next year after a loss is equal to R sub BE, which is equal to one divided by the quantity one minus R sub loss minus one. Now I do wanna mention this only works when the period to make up the loss is one year. If the time period is not one year, we can't use this formula. To begin, R sub loss is equal to 18%, which must be expressed as a decimal. We use R sub loss equals 0 0.18, and this is all we need to determine the rate to restore the loss and break even over the next year. R sub BE is equal to one divided by the quantity one minus 0 0.18 minus one. Going to the calculator, and rounding to four decimal places, we have 0 0.2195, which indicates R sub BE is 21.95%. This indicates you must earn 21.95% over the next year on your investments after the loss to restore your investments back to the amount before the loss. Number two, what rate of return would you need to make up for the loss and earn 8% over the next year? The rate needed to earn an annual rate of R sub target after loss is equal to R sub gain, where R sub gain is equal to one plus R sub target divided by the quantity one minus R sub loss minus one. And again, this is when the time period is one year to make up for the loss and earn a certain percent over the next year. The 8% here is R sub target. So to begin, R sub loss is still 0 0.18 and our sub target is 0 0.08. This indicates our sub gain is equal to the quantity one plus 0 0.08 divided by the quantity one minus 0 0.18 minus one. Again, going to the calculator, round into four decimal places, we have 0 0.3171 or 31.71%. This means you must earn 31.71% on your investments after the loss over the next year in order to restore the loss and earn an additional 8%. And now let's derive these two formulas. Let's first derive the formula that gives us the rate to restore a loss or break even over a one year period. To begin, the amount after the loss, we'll call A sub loss, is equal to P, the principal or starting amount, times the quantity one minus R sub loss. And now we need to determine what rate must be earned over the next year on this amount to restore the investment back to the starting amount, or P, the principal. This gives us the equation P times the quantity one minus R sub loss. Again, this is the amount after the loss, and then times the quantity one plus R sub BE, where R sub BE is a rate that must be earned over the next year to break even, and this must equal the amount before the loss, which is P, the principal. And now we solve for R sub BE. For the next step, we divide both sides by the product of P and the quantity one minus R sub loss. And now we can simplify. On the left, P divided by P simplifies the one, and so does one minus R sub loss divided by itself. And on the right, P divided by P simplifies the one. This gives us the equation one plus R sub BE equals one divided by the quantity one minus R sub loss for the last step, we subtract one on both sides, which gives us R sub BE equals one divided by the quantity one minus R sub loss minus one. So again, we can use this formula to determine the rate of return needed over the next year after a loss to restore the loss or break even. And now let's derive the formula that gives us the rate of gain needed over the next year to not only restore the loss, but also to earn a certain percent over the next year. Once again, to begin, we have A sub loss is equal to the principal P or starting amount or the amount before the loss times the quantity one minus R sub loss. And now we need to determine what rate of return must be earned on this amount to not only restore the loss over the next year, but also earn an additional 8%. This gives us the equation P times the quantity one minus R sub loss. 
Again, this is the amount after the loss, and then times the quantity one plus R sub gain, where again, R sub gain is the rate of return needed over the next year to restore the loss, and then earn an additional return on the investment given by R sub target. The product on the left must equal P, the principal or starting amount, or the investment's value before the loss, and then times the quantity one plus R sub target. And now we need to solve this equation for R sub gain. We divide both sides by the product of P and one minus R sub loss. Simplifying, P divided by P simplifies the one, one minus R sub loss divided by itself simplifies the one, and on the right, P divided by P simplifies the one. This gives us the equation one plus R sub gain equals the quantity one plus R sub target divided by the quantity one minus R sub loss, and for the last step, we subtract one on both sides of the equation. This gives us R sub gain equals the quantity one plus R sub target divided by the quantity one minus R sub loss minus one. Now I do wanna make a special note here. Be aware that if you experience a loss on a quarterly or year end statement, this formula does not find the rate needed for a gain including the period of loss. The formula finds a rate needed to make up for the loss and earn a certain rate moving forward. You would still be down any gain expected during the period of loss. And I do have another video that addresses this situation. I hope you found this helpful.